Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to work on four digit numbers. So let's begin with our first example. First I'm going to draw the abacus. Now we've done this before so you know what this is. And we can label each of the columns. Starting on the right hand side we've got U for units, T for tens, H for hundreds and TH for thousands. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw some discs on each of the columns. So just bear with me for the time being. Okay, almost there. There we go. And the question is, what number does the abacus represent? In other words, what number is shown on the abacus? Well, how we do this is simply by counting how many discs there are on each of the columns. Let's start on the right hand side. We've got units, one, two. So we write down two. How about the tens? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six tens. And now the hundreds? One, two, three. And lastly, the thousands. One, two, three, four. So there we have it. Four, three, six, two. Now it's always good to put a comma between the thousands and the hundreds. It looks a lot neater and it makes it a lot easier to read. So that is the second challenge. How do we read this number? 4362. We'll have a look at the headings. I'll just label them again on top of the numbers. Above the two is the units, the six is tens, the three is hundreds, and the th, the four is the th, the thousands. So how do we read this? We say 400, sorry, 4,000, we say 4,362. 4,362. Now that was quite easy, wasn't it? Practice that again. I want you to say it. 4,362. Okay. We're now going to move on to our second example. This time we're going to write the number down on the abacus. So let's draw the abacus again. We can label it again. Units, tens, hundreds and thousands. We're going to switch colors and this is the number we have on this abacus. Pay close attention to the the headings of each of the columns, the label. Okay, so we've got the discs on the abacus. Now what number do they represent? Again, we simply count them. How many units are there? One, two, three, four. The tens, one, two. How about the hundreds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven hundreds. And the thousands, God is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is the number shown on the abacus. Again, let's put a little comma over here. Now, how do we read this? 6724. Well, we start on the left-hand side. We say, and I'm just going to switch colors again. We say 6,724. 6,724. 
and we're just going to move on to two more examples. This time what we're going to do is we're going to write the number down and this time it's going to be a little bit tricky and I want you to read it out. Here it is. There's the comma. So there is a number. Now how would you read that? Have you had a have you had a go at this? Okay, let's work through this. We're going to say start on the left. That's this one here. We say 5000. So we got that part. But there are zero hundreds. So we don't say anything there. We move across and what is left is 12. Now what we say is 5000 and 12. So we've kept the, uh, the bit on the right exactly the same. We say and 12. But because there are zero hundreds, we don't say anything. For example, we do not say 5000, zero hundreds and 12. What we say is 5000 and 12. Okay. Now let's look at an even more trickier one. This time we have Okay, there is a number. Now how would you read that? That is a challenge, that is the question. How would you read this number? Okay, what we do is we start on the left-hand side. We say 9000. That bit is that bit is correct and it's exactly the same. 9000 and well, there are no hundreds. There are no tens. It's only three, three units. So we say 9,003. 9,003. So that is how to read four digit numbers. If you find zeros, just be very, very careful. Later on in the tutorials, we will come across how to write this down. But at the moment, we want to make sure that you can read four-digit numbers with clarity.